one. As you can see, here it is again, the Cotlanta Magic. And today, I've met up with yet another one of my subscribers that has actually come to Cotlanta and uh, looked me up. The other day I met another guy, John O'Brien, who does a lot of singing in uh, a lot of the bars in Phuket and that. How you doing, John? This is uh, my friend Mark. Good he's guys. from Australia. I think he's from the Shire, aren't you? No, no, Western Suburbs boy. Western Suburbs boy. Oh, New that's Paris, right. I, I think I think he lives out near. He used to live out near Cracktown somewhere. <laughs> so uh, here we are in Cotlanta. Uh, <clears throat> Mark's waiting for a condo over in uh, Camilla Beach. Yeah, Camilla Beach over on Phuket, and. Uh, we met up in Chaham when I had the shop in Chaham and Mark's uh, had problems uh, finalising the deal on the condo so he's got to wait a month so he just did a uh, trip over, he drove over here to Cotlanta and looked me up and uh, we've had a couple of beers together and uh, this afternoon we've uh, taken another magic lantern sunrise that I'll get some more of later and uh, he's having a chang of course and I'm having a nice gin and tonic. I'm having a nice gin and tonic. Yeah, so this is uh, Klong Nin Beach. This is probably about uh, 10K from where I usually go, from where I've shot my other videos. So you can see quite clearly, Kotlanta has this length and breadth magic which is just to die for. I mean, I said to Mark the other day, remember we were talking about going out when we were up at Lighthouse Bar the other day? Yeah, yeah. You know? And I said, you know, I don't go out much, but when I do, fuck, look, this is all I've got. Yeah. <laughs> I'll edit you out, eating. <laughs> yeah, so uh, we're in for a big sunset this afternoon. I've got two minutes of video, but... Uh, which means I'll have to do some more YouTube video, mate. I don't I put so. enough out, really. I'm so, not putting mate. out yeah. enough content. Good idea. So there, yeah. So I'll add to this a little bit later on on the uh, Colanta, Colanta vlog. And uh, just remember, Thailand dreaming. Love letters from retirement. So I'm sort of out of my comfort zone tonight. Well, this evening, I've come down to Klong Nin Beach, which is probably about 10k from where I usually go. And as you can see, there is a lot of people here. A lot of tourists down this end of town. And uh, you can see why, of course. You know, what better way could you want to spend the afternoon? Look at this place down here, it's got a few. Some people eating, some people just sitting back, having a drink, some having a smoke. And, uh, well, I live just down that way. But it's still the same coastline and the same sunset. So, you know, this is not a bad place. And these are all bars and restaurants, of course. Have a look at them. So if you come in Atlanta, this is Kong Nin, Kong Nin Beach. Anyway, I better go back. I'm having a couple of drinks with one of my subscribers that's headed over here to meet up. So, uh, let's have a look. Blue Moon. This is like, um, I know, the hippie backpacker end of town by the look of it to me. Anyway, this bar is called, um, I don't know, Sweet Soul Lanta. Okay, more later. Ciao for now. Good morning, folks. Uh, just a short clip. This one to add to a few other clips I've been taking because I haven't been away making videos. Uh, I've been very lazy, actually. Well, I haven't. I've been sort of busy and I've been lazy. If you can have the two combined. But, uh, yeah, so been smoking a bit so I've had a few late nights and a few late mornings but yeah still here everything's going good now look a lot of those uh, a lot of the other youtubers you know they'll put videos up have a look at this
certainly is magic here this morning. Yeah, so a lot of YouTubers, you know, like, uh, well, they make a bit of money out of YouTube, you know, but they pump out videos every day, some of them, and some of them uh, every couple of days or three times a week or something like that. Well, my subscriber count has, count has grown a little bit, but, you know, sitting around 370, 380 or something like that. So, but that's okay because I'm not doing it to make money. It's not my life, you know. I want my subscribers and anyone else that's watching to know that, you know, making YouTube videos is not my life. I'm retired, you know, and I'm not chasing money from, from uh, YouTube. So consequently, I'm not pumping out videos with clickbait shit every few days, you know. I make them when I feel like it, you know. I've got other little projects going on that eventually I may be able to show you, but I may not, depending on, you know, what the laws are going to do here in Thailand. They change their mind like the wind. Yeah, so, you know, I'm just having a little walk this morning, uh, letting you know everything's okay. As I said, I'm not, you know, I'm not pumping to make money out of YouTube. You know, I don't need, you know, less is more. You know, so I make the videos when I feel like it. And, uh, you know, I'm doing this one this morning. Surely, I could just sit there on the beach and look at the cute butt that was sitting lying down in front of me. But, you know, I, I take the time to make this video wholly and solely for my subscribers and people who aren't subscribed that know me and know where I am and might want to see if, you know, maybe there's someone who wants to know I'm okay, everything's going all right. But yeah, I'm doing pretty well, you know. For a bloke, for a bloke pushing 70, I'm not doing too bad. Mind you, I'm getting a bit flabby. I've lost weight, but I'm getting flabby because I do absolutely zero freaking exercise. I don't see the point in exercise. Although, you know, I may start doing some soon. Yeah, so, um, yeah, so this video I'm making, just to show you an earlier morning one here, just to say hi, just to say, no, I'm not ignoring the channel. I'm just having a bit of uh, vloggers, vloggers block. Yeah, no, I've just been really lazy and I've had a couple of other things going on. Some of you might know, I've got a set up at home with the lights. And, uh, you know, it, it's a learning process for me being an old gorilla farmer. But, you know, it, it's working out all right, but at a major drama the other day, the power went out, blew everything in the house. So, you know, that was a bit of a bit of a drama because the amount of day, that light that they get during the day can really affect uh, flowering, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Anyway, you get the idea of what I'm doing there. Yeah, so have a look at this. Just have a look. Pee, pee over there. That's pee, pee over there. <laughs> it's not too bad, is it? You know, really. I'm having such a good time here. Well, you know, when I say having such a good time, I mean, for most of you, what I do, what I'm doing with my life would be boring as shit. But I don't get bored anymore. Yeah, yeah, I watch a bit of footy, like I watched some of the trials yesterday, the rugby league trials on TV and stuff like that. But you know, most of the time I just sit around at house, do a bit of sweeping, do me washing up, do my washing, you know, just day to day grind, you know. And when I want to escape, I just go and sit out in my cute little front veranda in the garden it's just beautiful tropical all the time even if it's raining it's really nice you know and then other times i'll come down here you know just to be around this check it out you know only a few people around at this time of day this time of the morning so yeah not too bad i'm gonna have another swim and then i'm gonna go and have something to eat yeah so just checking in and just letting you know 
you know, and I guess it's an apology of sorts for people that expect me to do that or expect a little bit more content. Trust me, you know, I'll get back into it. I do it in dribs and drabs and spurts, you know. I'll be do I've got to do a trip to Krabby soon. So I'll be going up there and um, checking that out and I'll do a little bit of informative stuff about that and just a little bit of a wander around Krabby to see what it looks like, etc., etc. And, um, you know, later on I've got some uh, friends coming over. In this video, this particular video I'm finishing off today that I'll probably edit this afternoon or tomorrow. Uh, you know, there's a time I went out with... Uh, one of the YouTube uh, subscribers who called over here. I've met him before. He came and met me in Chaham and now he's moved from uh, Pattaya down to Phuket. And, uh, but his condo wasn't ready, so he came over and stayed on Kotlanta for, I don't know, a week or so. And um, yeah, called me, wanted to catch up. So we went out and had a couple of drinks and he's gone up to Krabby now. He's got a car, so he drives around everywhere. He's lived here for quite a while. Yeah, so that's about it, folks. I'm going to take a couple of photos, and then I'm going to head over and have a swim. And then uh, at some stage, maybe later today or tomorrow, I'll edit this video. So, ciao for now. Hi, guys. Good morning. I'm just going to uh, stitch together the last few short videos I've done over the last two weeks I know I've been very lazy and I sort of explained that in the video clip you'll see from when I was at the beach yesterday having my little outing um, yeah so I'm just out in the garden this morning it's an absolutely gorgeous day yeah so Anyway, I'm going to stitch that together and put it together now and uh, get it up on YouTube. As I explained yesterday, I'm not doing YouTube to, uh, to make money or to become popular or to win friends and influence people. I'm just doing it as uh, the title of my channel explains Thailand Dreaming. I'm living my dream here. I really am. And... Um, yeah, I, 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 um, it's just, it's just, you know, here I am. I don't have any of my family or my friends here and stuff like that. So basically it's love letters from retirement. Yeah, so anyway, I'm wandering around the bullshitting on it here. You know, who knows what's going to happen. I've just been watching some TikTok and YouTube and there's freaking aliens everywhere and Things getting shot out of the sky and there's the great reset and there's the COVID conspiracies and you know the whole box and dice oh, how can you comment on any of it even if you pick one of those subjects I mean who cares live your life enjoy yourself be happy okay you know but I do have an opinion on this uh, you know, shooting shit out of the sky every day. I mean, is this really the best way to make first contact if there are aliens? Is this really the best way? Hi, bang, 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 you're dead. Uh, what's going on? What is going on, really? You know, C, C, B, C, Ds, you know, digital currencies, getting rid of cash, the great reset. I mean, I won't see it, but you know, uh, you know, weather smoke this fire, and we all know how greedy the one percent are. You know, the governments, the corporates, the bosses. You know, it's always been us against them. You know, but uh, you know, we use our resources to live. They use the resources to uh, uh, create and amass huge amounts of wealth that they could never use while well, people are starving and dying from addictions and oh, yeah really 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 what is going on with this planet anyway look i'm going to stitch this couple of videos together pump it out edit it pump it out on youtube today and i will start doing some more i, I know uh you know if i'm going to do youtube videos i know they've got to be interesting in some way shape or form and uh, 
that's not necessarily what I am interesting in any way shape or form but some of the things I do and the places I go to are so I'm promising you I will very shortly start getting out and about again just got a little project going on here and you know I've just been lazy well I'm not being lazy I'm just being retired and I'm learning really what that is I don't have to do anything yeah so anyway it's nice down here in the valley this morning well I'm sort of on the side of the mountain but you know all those rubber trees now are losing their leaves you can see they're looking pretty bare up there some of them yeah so they do that this time of year here in Thailand uh, unfortunately for me uh, rubber plantations tend to host a lot of snakes and I had one visit me the other day I didn't get the camera out uh, scared the shit out of me I tell you I hate snakes and spiders but I'm standing just inside the doorway here and I spot something hanging down here just in here I spot something in here, in the crack in the door, you know? Yeah, in here. This afternoon, I walked up close to investigate and I saw that it was a, a green, I'm not sure if it was striped green and whitish, green and cream striped uh, or diamond snake. So, you know, I, I come out here and I just walk out the door here. Right, there's the, the snakes hanging there and I walk out here. And as I walk around here, it throws a strike at me. Whee! But it threw itself off the door because it went too far. So it drops on the ground here and it comes at me. I shit myself, I tell you. And I started stomping my feet and clapping my hands. I didn't know what to do. There was nothing within reach that I could sort of move it with. So the freaking thing, it gets a bit scared and it shoots off under the sofa over here and then out over the, over the fence there, back into the, uh, into the rubber plantation. Yeah, so I'm not happy about that. I don't like the big centipedes. I don't like spiders and uh, I'm not overly fond of snakes. Anyway, I'm going to go and do this video now. Stitch it together edit it up, throw it up on YouTube and say hi to everyone and just say, you, you know, what I've been doing, where I've been, what are, the daily grind is for me and uh, also, you know, various excuses for not pumping out uh, YouTube videos every day or three or four times a week. Sorry. Anyway, it's a beautiful day. It's so quiet here. All I can hear is the birds. I can hear a whippersnipper going over on the mountain there somewhere. Yeah, so that's why they whippersnip these paths. If you have a look in the, in the um, rubber plantation there, you can see there's a pathway whippersnipped and uh, maybe poisoned up along the rows of trees, you know, because they want to walk in there and they're usually in there early morning just when the sun's coming up. They don't want to be stepping on cobras, I guess. Okay, ciao for now guys.